In 2016, two researchers were trekking through the forests of Arunachal Pradesh, India, when they literally stumbled upon this camouflaged beauty hidden in the leaves. A local man pointed out the snake, and they quickly realized it wasn't just any average viper. With its unusual pointed snout, similar to a hump-nosed viper, and a stunning orange belly, this snake had them scratching their heads. Back at camp, they took a closer look and knew they'd found something special. DNA tests at the Indian Institute of Science confirmed it. They found a brand new species, now known scientifically as Trimerasurus arunachalensis. But the snake's unique features didn't stop there. The snake's paired reproductive organ was unlike any other viper, and its scale pattern was completely unique. While its closest relative has around 20 rows of scales around the middle of its body, this mysterious snake had only 17. The next species is a record breaker, and it's known as the largest gecko ever discovered, measuring around 2 feet long and being as thick as a man's wrist. The only known specimen of Delcourt's giant gecko is currently in France, but its exact origins are still a little bit of a puzzle. At first, people thought it might be from New Zealand because some local legends spoke of a giant, mysterious lizard that lived in forests. Even though it was a pretty fascinating theory, some recent DNA studies suggest that this nocturnal species is probably from New Caledonia. But as of now, no one can confirm it 100%. In general, sleeper sharks are big, slow-moving creatures that mostly hang out in deep, cold ocean waters. They usually have bulky bodies and a broad, flat head, which helps them blend into the dark sea. But in 2017, was caught at a fishing harbor and collected from a fish market located in Taiwan, and it didn't look like any of its relatives. First off, this 4.4-foot shark had smaller eyes and a tiny second dorsal fin compared to its cousins. It also had more rows of teeth in its upper jaw and fewer in the lower jaw. But the biggest surprise was that it was a pregnant female carrying 33 embryos. This means there are probably more of these sharks hiding out there in the deep ocean. We just haven't found them yet. Meet the pocket shark. It is tiny, just about 5.5 inches long, while most deep water sharks are around 6.5 feet. But don't let its small size make you underestimate it, because this creature is definitely one of the ocean's coolest secrets. Discovered in 1979 in the deep waters of Chile, this tiny shark is like a real-life spy gadget with its mysterious pockets near its front fins. These pockets are large, measuring about 4% of its body length, and are believed to either glow or secrete pheromones. So, this shark might actually light up to either confuse predators or attract prey in the dark depths. And when I say deep, I mean really deep. It is believed that this creature hangs out over 9,000 feet down, which is roughly the height of seven Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other, but inside the ocean. Besides its initial discovery in Chile, it was spotted again in 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico, but it hasn't shown up since. The pocket shark is not the only glowing animal we're talking about today. This inch-long cockroach, scientifically known as Luci Hormetica luque, was actually first collected back in 1939 but only got its moment in the spotlight decades later in 2012. What makes this little buddy so interesting is that it uses bioluminescence, meaning it has spots that light up in the dark. Unlike fireflies that mostly use their glow to find a mate, this cockroach uses its light to mimic a toxic click beetle and scare off predators. Unfortunately, the region in Ecuador where it was found was hit hard by a volcanic eruption raising fears that this glowing marvel might be a one-of-a-kind discovery. Continuing with tiny creatures, meet Hippocampus Minotaur, also known as the Bullneck Seahorse. This little seahorse stands out with its wide neck, large head, and small body, which is why it's got the Minotaur nickname. The only known specimens were collected off the coast of Eden, Australia, and no one has ever seen it alive in its natural habitat. So that's why we don't know much about its day-to-day -day life. Some studies suggest it lives deep underwater, around 325 feet down, which is roughly the equivalent to the height of a 30-story building. 
It's believed this mysterious seahorse likes to wrap its prehensile tail around corals and might even hide in sand beds. Its yellow-orange color likely helps it blend into coral reefs. So spotting this intriguing creature in the ocean is pretty much like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Next on our list is the Nariño cat. In 1989, a single specimen of this mysterious spotted feline was discovered in Galera's volcano in southern Colombia. This little guy had a short tail with seven black rings and a black tip, and its fur was absolutely unique, being more reddish than that of its relatives. Understanding that it wasn't an ordinary animal, researchers decided to visit a bunch of museums all over Latin America to find similar felines, but they came up pretty empty-handed. Then, DNA analysis confirmed that it was unlike any other known cat, having split from its closest relatives around 1.9 million years ago. The Bogota Sun Angel is a hummingbird with a stunning purple color and black flight feathers, plus a bright green chin and crown. For years, we only knew of one specimen that was bought in Bogota, Colombia back in 1909, and that was pretty much it. Nobody knew much more about this beautiful and mysterious bird, but that changed in 2017 when a study decided to analyze its DNA once again. The results suggest that the Bogota sun angel might not be a completely separate species after all. It looks like it is actually a hybrid, meaning it was a mix of hummingbirds from two different species. And it's likely that its mother was a long-tailed sylph, which is a gorgeous hummingbird that mostly lives in the Andes in South America. The spotted green pigeon, also known as the Liverpool pigeon, is like the unicorn of the bird world. It was first described in 1783 by an English physician named John Latham, who saw it once and that's it. Since then, no one has ever doubted that it was a pigeon, and many researchers were convinced it was a distinct species. But recent DNA studies revealed that this bird could actually be closely related to the famous Dodo. You know, that chubby, flightless bird from Mauritius that looked like a giant pigeon with a quirky beak. Anyway, the Liverpool pigeon is about 13 inches long and has a unique look with yellow spotted feathers. Unlike its ground-loving cousin, the Nicobar pigeon, the spotted green pigeon was likely more of a tree hugger, feasting on fruits up in the branches. Today, if you want to see this rare bird, you'll have to visit the World Museum in Liverpool, where the only known specimen resides. While you're in England, make sure to swing by London and check out the Natural History Museum. There, you will find the only specimen of a flying fox known scientifically as Terapus bruneus. Flying foxes are usually some of the largest bats in the world. Their body length, I mean their size excluding their wings, can be around 16 inches. But this special bat, discovered in 1874 at Percy Island, is more like a mini version of its cousins, measuring 8.3 inches from head to toe. So even though it hasn't been spotted in the wild for a while, I wouldn't worry too much if you happen to come across it. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.